Leaders in the healthcare community from Roanoke and the New River Valleys dedicate the new Virginia Intercollegiate Anatomy Lab, or VIAL for short. It's been a great uh, partnership. Uh, each of us needed additional laboratory space and we uh, came to understand that together about three years ago and decided to act upon that and we were able to do collectively far better than any of us could have done on our own. A partnership between Jefferson College of Health Sciences, Virginia Tech Carilion School of Medicine and Radford University supported by Carilion Clinic. Well, without Carilion Clinic, it would have been entirely impossible because that provided the grounding for the whole project and, and the supervision, really, of the whole project. Um, so it's been great because we've been able to collaborate among the schools and then the schools with Carilion Clinic. Well, really, this is one more part of our evolution. What we now have is a, another part of three institutions coming together and is able to really provide education through the continuum. So as people come out of high school and wonder what they're going to do, they can really stay local. This anatomage table provides the latest in technology for learning and will be a tool for group study time among students. It will eventually be connected to large monitors, strategically located throughout the room. Radford University's Doctorate of Physical Therapy students will benefit from more than the larger space and high-tech training that VIAL will provide. This collaboration of opportunities, not just for working after graduation, but for collaborating while you're a student, uh, makes this such a add-on. We're getting much more out of the program than we would if it were standalone somewhere else. Ultimately, the patient is who will win in this. Uh, these uh, healthcare practitioners will be training in this uh, very high-tech laboratory coming to understand the human body as best they possibly can in high fidelity situation, which will make them better practitioners in each of their disciplines. Dozens of people got the first look at the facility at the dedication, but no doubt hundreds and even thousands more will benefit from the lessons that will be learned here. Karen McNew for Carilion Clinic.